Parking lots covered with a product so dangerous, experts say just living next to this could increase your risk for cancer. Channel 9 learned that product is being used all over Mecklenburg County. New this hour, reporter Tina Terry learned about a new push from one community to try to ban it. Tina? Yes, Scott, that product is called coal tar sealant. Now it's used in parking lots like this one all over the county to protect them from water damage and also from cracks like this one here. Today we talked to county leaders who say the product is so dangerous they want to ban it. Coal tar contains chemicals that are harmful to the environment. Rusty Rozell with Mecklenburg County Water Quality says it can also hurt humans. Coal tar is a carcinogenic and once it's applied to pavement, dangerous contaminants can blow it to nearby homes, vaporize into the air and run off into local streams and waterways. Data prepared by Mecklenburg County Stormwater Services shows people who live next to coal tar sealed pavement have an elevated cancer risk. 38 times higher than others. It has been found that these PAHs have terrible negative impacts. Olivia Edwards, supervisor with the Water Quality Department, says the product, which protects pavement from water damage, is used on nearly 78% of the parking lots tested in the county. Much of that sealant has washed off into the storm drain. This YouTube video from 2010 was taken after the Watauga Riverkeeper said coal tar from a business parking lot washed into a drain and killed fish in a nearby stream. Leaders in Boone say the event triggered an ordinance restricting the use of coal tar sealant. Now Mecklenburg County leaders are pushing for an all out ban. Put that asphalt in. And industry experts say there are alternatives. The service life of the product the uh, is excellent. It is environmental environmentally friendly. Yeah, this week the town of Matthews approved that ban, making it the first city in North Carolina to do so. Towns like Davidson, Mint Hill, and the county will also have to vote on the ban. We'll let you know when they do. Reporting live from North Charlotte, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.